yes it's here very exciting my Turner's wood products package has arrived sorry for the lighting let me see if I can rearrange that a little bit hmm. yes I've been waiting for this package for a little while it's uh, partially my fault because I kept adding to the order before he could send it uh, but now it's here and we're gonna do a little bit of an unboxing I'm gonna bung a link to Stephen's shop down in the uh, down in the comments section uh, to his online shop and to his Facebook page uh, Turner's Wood Products if you are a Turner and uh, you are looking for a, a really really good supplier of high quality products then I urge you to check him out check out his shop I've already shown you some of his uh, homebrew waxes and pastes wood turning sanding wax mountain wax and uh, gloss finish wax he's got a, a really good selection of the stuff he makes this himself it's really really high quality and uh, and he's also got a fantastic range of other bits and bobs he's also a, an official Robert Sorby supplier so if you need wood if you need bits and bobs waxes tools you should definitely go and check him out I'll bung a link down below but uh, without too much more ado let's get this thing open because I am excited <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Just tear it open. It's like Christmas, kind of. It's nowhere near Christmas. Oh, that will be my new Robert Sorby skew, three quarter inch skew, square stock. I've never used a square stock skew before. Any new turners, and possibly even old turners, I'm sure will empathise that. Uh, the skew is one of the most difficult tools to uh, to really get to know and get used to. Now I've been using this uh, round stock skew, which it's, uh, it's an inch wide, and uh, and I, I've got, you know I've I've got the hang of using it and everything, but I don't know something about the round edge I don't really get on with, and the size of it it's difficult to get into small places especially when you're working close to the chuck so I'm hoping this or I'm wondering at least if this is going to improve my skew game and uh, I think what I'll do is if I can if I can get used to this one if I if I prefer this one what I'll do is I will grind this flat and put a little bit of a bevel on it and make a square scraper for getting into the bottom of boxes and stuff anyway oh, big box so back along I, uh, I entered a little bit of a charity raffle that Steve was doing and I, and I won some record power pen kits European style five of these I've never tried to do the European style although I think they're fairly similar to the uh, to the standard slim lines but it's really cool I've got a couple of packs of them I think yeah five European and five slim line it's lovely because I haven't got many pen kits left so that's good net abrasive this is chestnut net abrasive there are a few different makes like Abranet and stuff that make uh, net abrasive but the the chestnut one is really it's it's one of the best that I've used and um, anyone who uses uh, still uses standard sandpaper and is looking for an alternative I can highly recommend that you try out the uh, the net abrasive and uh, these packs that Stephen sells from Chestnut, they come with six different grits. Got a couple of packs of them. They do last a long time. It's not like uh, you have to change them all the time, but because I make a lot of uh, spindles with, with coves and beads, I tend to bend this stuff around it a lot, and after a while it can start to crack, and so I, I back, you know, top myself up with a couple of, uh, couple of packs. Some Nyweb pads i've never used nyweb pads but i've heard they can really give you a lovely finish it's just like a, a sort of an abrasive pad and different grits so i've got a couple of each grit i think that's i think the white is the finest one i have to double check but yeah i'm looking forward to giving that a try let's see what uh see what that can do uh, yeah now steve wanted me to check out his new shaving kits 
So he sent me one of those to do a tester on, so I'm going to knock that out at some point. I think there should be some other bits and bobs. What's this? Mm, a couple of click pens. I've never tried making click pens before. I do, uh, I do put an order in with Stephen on the regular, so he does like to chuck in a couple of sneaky freebies every now and then. I think I've just found another one. Look at that brown ivory. That's something new for me. Look at that. That's very pretty wood. And heavy. That's dense. Sharp tools needed, I think. Nice. Thank you, Stephen. We'll be giving that a go very soon. And our oh, lovely new Velcro backed sanding pads. These are very, very useful to go with the old mandrel and uh, impact driver. Very good. And I'm nearly running out, so I'm glad they've arrived. Uh, now, chestnut iridescent paints. It's only a starter kit, just like a small bottle of each one, but I've never tried putting paint on wood. Oh, certainly not turnings and I think that's the the final outcome that looks cool yeah this is going to be fun this is going to be an experiment for me because I've never tried it before and there's a turquoise in there my uh, my good lady loves turquoise so I may have to make her something with a bit of iridescent turquoise on there wonderful right ah African Blackwood Pen Blanks. And you can find all of this stuff on Stephen's website. They look really nice. Apparently this stuff is like a, it's like an ebony, but slightly softer. I've never tried turning it before, so that'll be another experience for me. Oh, look at that. That looks lovely. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, another tool that I've been waiting for. I've been going to treat my I've been meaning to treat myself to one of these for a long time this is a Sorby 1 16th inch slim parting tool and I've got the old standard diamond tip parting tool and it's it's really really useful really really good tool but it's uh, I think it's an eighth of an inch or I think that's what it is and sometimes you just you don't have that much material to work with and you want to part off and uh, yeah I've been meaning to get myself a slimline parting tool so I'm glad that's arrived a couple more packs of these sanding pads now for uh, <laughs> the wood this I believe is a chunk of wild mango and fruit woods have a reputation for having incredible grain and I'm really uh, really looking forward to turning that one out I think it's just a two inch thick eight by eight I think that's gonna make a rather stunning bowl uh, <laughs> Now, I happened to see a photograph of Stephen's workshop floor and I saw this lying there and I said, mate, what is that? And this is something called Masasa. I've never even heard of it, never mind turned it before I saw it. Look at that figure. Look at that. That is stunning. And yeah, when I saw the picture, I had to have it. And um, that's a... Look at that. That is going to be beautiful. That's a three inch thick, 10 by 10. It's going to make a, a big old, very, very pretty bowl. I cannot wait. But speaking of cannot wait, this is something when he uh, he added some new exotics to his site and I uh, I saw the grain on this, which is a piece of panga panga. And that is going to be beautiful. I already know what I'm going to do with this. It's 8x8, eight eight, 3 inches. And uh, I'm planning on making uh, 
a fairly sort of standard shaped bowl but I'm going to leave a widish rim I'll undercut it so you've got more dish space but I'm going to leave a widish rim and I'm going to use gold leaf to gild the outside edge of this bowl and I think that is going to look rather beautiful yeah I've got big plans for this I've had big plans from this from when I started putting this package together and oh, this is a an interesting laminated pen blank I don't know what's in there maybe a bit of bit of cherry maybe and I don't know, maybe a bit of sycamore, maybe a bit of tulip, I'm not sure. Not 100% about what's in there, but that is very interesting looking. I like that. I like that a lot. What else? Uh -huh. Some gilt cream. I've never tried using gilt cream before. It's another one, another new one on me. But um, I recently got some lovely ash from a supplier in Germany. And I turned this and ebonized the top with some ebonizing lacquer. And uh, I've got five of these pieces and they're each destined for uh, for paint. Uh, although I may leave one of them naked because uh, who doesn't love naked wood? But uh, I'm going to ebonize four of them. And I'm going to use at least one of them to test out this gilt cream. Maybe two. And the other two will be used in conjunction with these iridescent paints. And I think that's going to look rather smart. And oh, there's the badger brush for the shaving kit. Good, good. Just a couple more packs of these sanding pads. I'm going to have to start finding places and homes for all of this stuff very soon. And finally, oh, somehow managed to grab that one out couple of ring cores. I've never tried making rings with a with a core before. I made a I made a ring out of cherry, but this was before I started turning. I hand carved the whole thing. And uh, it looked pretty good, but obviously wood carved thin and uh it has its uh, its weaknesses. And I think with a core, we're going to make something rather nice. And I was talking to Stephen about what I would, uh, what wood I could use for the cores, what I was thinking about using, and uh, he very kindly chucked in a piece of Indian ebony. I've turned some ebony before, but I don't know if it's Indian ebony. But that is a nice, solid chunk of very beautiful wood. Very pretty indeed. And uh, oh, yeah, I'm going to have to find places for uh, this pile of stuff now. Uh, but uh, that's my Turner's package, and uh, I'm I've been waiting for this so long, and now I'm so excited that it's here. I can't can't even begin to describe how excited I am to get started on some of this stuff. Look at that figure! Look at it. Beautiful. 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 So thank you again very much, Stephen, for sending me this awesome package. And especially for your sneaky, cheeky freebies. And, uh... <laughs> oh, this is going to keep me busy for a little while. And I've got a few other little packages coming. Some, uh, some spindle blanks and uh, a few other neat little toys which I'm going to be using. I found, I bought myself a little bit of uh, a little bit of hardware for making some more lamps. So I've got some spindle blanks on the way. We're going to make some lamps out of that. But right now I'm just thinking, what do I turn first? Oh. So once again, definitely go and check out Stephen's shop. Turner's Wood Products, he's got a Facebook page, he's got an online store, really encourage you to go and check it out, fantastic range of products, fantastic bloke, really lovely chap, definitely uh, well worth checking it out and, go and getting in touch with him. 
for sure. I'll bang a link down the bottom. Anyway, thanks again, Stephen. Thanks again for joining me in the uh, in the wolf den, and we'll definitely see you soon for some turnings. <laughs>